top of his schoolwork and two part-time jobs, Cole spends at least 12 hours a week couponing. But it's an exercise that's become a necessity for him and his family. A year and a half ago, both my parents had to move for job opportunities. I had to do something to stay because I was getting ready for my senior year and I couldn't leave. So I made a plea to some of my friends and my ex-girlfriend. Her family was willing to let me move in and open their home to me rent-free. The situation was very awkward. We still are not on great terms. Part of me thinks that it could have worked out if he hadn't moved in it's eventually. I don't know what's going to happen. When I moved in, it was just a lot of bitter, angry. It's still like a work in progress, but this family has been a lifeline for me. So if anything that I can help them save on costs, I do. At first, like, OK, you know, it's great, whatever. You have a couponing thing. Now it's become an obsession. Cole's preoccupation with hunting down the best deals has produced a stockpile that's taken over his bedroom in Abby's basement. Welcome to my room that is also my stockpile. We have six people living in this house plus three people at my parents' house, so I gotta keep it stocked so we don't run out. To help him prepare for each big haul, Cole enlists Abby, her siblings, and his friend Jackie. But the teen couponer won't let his helpers get away with being anything less than meticulous. I'm tired of spending my Saturday nights clipping coupons. You'll manage. Cole is very particular when we're couponing. He wants things exactly in their place. If they go in the wrong finder slot or if we drop coupons, the world is going to end. <laughs> cut the words off. Is that bad? You cut off the expiration date. We can't use that one now. Oh, sorry. You got to be more careful with them. While an ex-girlfriend may not be the ideal shopping companion, Cole needs all the help he can get today because his parents and brother are coming to pick up close to $700 worth of groceries that Cole plans on buying for $10 or less. Traffic laws. Better pull in straight. So we have all of our coupons ready. We have all of our plans laid out. Abby and Jack, you're ready to go to the store with me. And hopefully everything comes out as planned. All right, ready? OK, so the first thing we're going to get is right up here. OK, how many? Uh, we're going to get 36 boxes, 15, 16. So these tissues are a fantastic deal. They're regularly $1.29, and they're on sale 10 for 10. I have a dollar off coupon, which is going to mean each one is free. 31. Really? Yes. We got to the tissues, and Abby and Jackie have already started messing with me. This made me realize that the whole shopping trip was going to be a struggle. 7, 18, 21, 25, 7, 9, 10, 11, We tend 12. to gang up on Cole just to make him mad or just to get under his skin. Or right. We think it's fun. I don't think he feels so much. We're going to get 63 of these soup to go bowls. Careful with them. You can't be throwing them like that. Careful not to bust them on the car. Careful. Please be careful. Ooh. Are you guys even keeping count? Nope. All right, everyone stop so I can count. Stop. I need to count. Eight, nine, ten. Abby, stop. Cole, relax. Stop. Go stand over there. Seriously, go. Me. Go. I was seriously done. I really needed all of these items for my family, and there was no time for joking. 60, 61, I need two more. There you go. Thank you. Perfect. Let's go on to the next one. Grumpy pants over there. No. We're getting 50 of the bologna. Great, there's lots of them down here. Make sure you count how many goes in this time, please. 14, 15, 16. And it works out great because the sausages that we need are right here, too. Perfect. This sausage is a great deal. It's regularly $1.59 on sale 10 for 10. I have a rebate coupon for $5 off any of this brand's products. So I'm going to get five of these with every coupon for absolutely free. OK, so I think that's everything. So you guys ready for checkout? I think so. Yeah. All right, let's go. Cole has filled three carts to the brim with a variety of food and household items. But the store limits the number of coupons he can use. So he has to split his haul into three separate transactions. You ready for me? I'm ready. How are you today? Good. How are you? Good, thanks. The $66 and climbing. at $140.49. Do you have any coupons today? You bet I do. All right. It's coming down. Getting there. All right, brings you down to 29 cents. I can handle that. <laughs> Great. OK, transaction number two. For the second one. 
Your total is 183.72. All right, let's bring that down a little. Total's at $2.03. I'm not sure what happened. I was expecting to pay less than a dollar, and the total is just above $2. I am about to have a nervous breakdown. This is not good. All right. As crazy as this sounds, it really was like life and death. I knew what I needed to spend, and every extra dollar that I have to spend is one less dollar that I can use towards my family. I'm gonna recount all the items and make sure that all my coupons are matching up properly. I'm going through the bags, and I discovered that there was an extra soup in one of the bags. 20, 21, 22. There was one too many soups on the last transaction. That means that I paid an extra $1.67 over budget. Abby and Jackie's antics in the aisles could cost Cole nearly $2, a discrepancy in his budget he refuses to stand for. There was one too many soups on the last transaction. Is there anything we can do to fix that? We can refund that for you. That would be great. Although the refund has put him back on track, Cole's nerves are rattled as he starts his last and biggest transaction. Someone catch me when I fall. <laughs> Your last transaction is $343.61. All right, are you ready for my coupons? Yep, ready for your coupons. OK. Getting hot in here or just me? <laughs> Do your nose out through your mouth. It's called breathing. <laughs> We actually owe you money. Yes! <laughs> that is awesome! We owe you $6.17 today. That is awesome! <laughs> Woo, good job. That is fantastic. It's awesome. I've never seen that before. <laughs> I couldn't have dreamed of a better shopping trip than the store owing me money. My parents are in need of a lot of this stuff, so it was a great, successful shopping trip, and I'm really happy with it. Cole's record-setting haul includes 58 paper goods, 63 bowls of soup, and 130 meat products. The combined retail price of all three transactions rang in at $667.82, but the store is actually paying him $5.52 to take everything home. With his shopping trip a success, Cole is excited to see his family for the first time in a month and give them the much-needed groceries. Hey. What's up, son? Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. I got a lot of stuff for you. Uh-oh. How much did you spend, babe? Uh, they actually paid me to take it out of the store. No way. Yeah. He kind of took up the couponing thing to, to help us out. If he can save money, he's all about it. So it's been a huge help for us. I could never imagine a life without couponing. Just to pay full price for something would break my heart. Now that I know how much money I can save, there's no way I would ever go back. Can you say coupon? Pop, pop.